Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is John Gerard. As the Executive Director of the Regional Cancer Center, I wish to welcome everyone and thank you for joining us today as we begin a very special celebration. 2012 marks an extraordinary year for the Regional Cancer Center, as it is our 25th anniversary as a community asset, treating local cancer patients with expert care, great compassion, and providing hope for patients close to home. Today we have some exciting news to share with you about initiatives for 2012. But first I'd like to introduce Dr. Shibeta, founder of the Regional Cancer Center, who will share with you some brief thoughts about highlights from RCC's past. Thank you, John. It's a pleasure to recap the last 25 years uh, of uh, cancer care and to look back on the history of how all this developed. It was in the early 80s when the pattern of cancer care was changing dramatically. Uh, new frontiers that had been pretty stagnant for years now suddenly became uh, emerging over the horizon. And this included the development of new uh, highly specialized and extremely expensive equipment, uh, uh, proliferation of several chemotherapy drugs, prior to which we had a handful of maybe five or six that were particularly effective, and uh, uh, also uh, doctors who now were able to continue their work uh, focused exclusively on cancer care. And we were the first ones within 100 miles to uh, happen to choose to do that in a community setting. The paradox was that all of this uh, early service was available at the universities, the medical centers, and the metropolitan cities. But paradoxically, most of the cancer patients were actually being cared for in the community. And so we set about uh, to design a way that we could change that. The two major hospitals which resided uh, uh, in Erie uh, were the largest within 100 miles. And uh, rather than work in a competitive manner, they chose to work in a collaborative manner and to do so in conjunction with our physician group uh, and uh, the combination of those three forces allowed us to proceed with our dream. And what we did was to uh, now have the ability to purchase uh, the, ex the uh, very high ex uh, expense uh, equipment uh, that was being developed that was a great uh, uh, advantage. Uh, the uh, physicians were able to utilize the chemotherapy programs I talked about and we were able to do so in a community setting. As you may notice, have noticed, uh, the cancer centers built near the throughways so that patients coming to town would be able to uh, have, have their uh, travel facilitated uh, uh, and, and, and the travel time lessened. Uh, it became evident that to help the cancer patient further, wouldn't it be nice if all the services that he needs could be provided under one roof? And we, in fact, then did exactly that. Uh, some of these services were added even after the Cancer Center opened its doors in August of 1987, when our first few patients trickled through. We had uh, uh, 27 employees, as my memory, if my memory serves me correctly, when we opened the doors. There are now over 160. Uh, there are 300 plus patients coming through those doors every single day, not to mention the families that accompany them. And two-thirds of them reside, uh, or two-thirds of them uh, uh, are there just for the radiation and the chemotherapy treatments or combinations thereof, or visits with the different specialist uh, physicians. And uh, also uh, to take advantage of the fact that what the patients call one-stop shopping uh, the x-ray laboratory uh, consultation services are all there to be delivered at one time. 
And <clears throat> this has been eminently successful. We are winning the war on cancer. I could stand here and give you a litany of cancers in which I could almost assure you the patient is going to be cured and will do so without any adverse sequelae uh, for the remainder of their functional life. Uh, it is in this setting that uh, we've all been very encouraged by the last quarter of a century, but we recognize that to maintain this ranking as one of the finest uh, community cancer centers in the country, uh, that we can't rest on our laurels. We have challenges ahead, and I might add at this point that we have never turned away a patient for lack of ability to pay. That requires uh, efforts to uh, find alternative methods to keep that the case. And I think you're going to hear some interesting comments about uh, where we're looking uh, in the years that lie ahead. Thank you. I'm going to introduce now uh, Jerry Cacchetti, who is the executive director of the uh, Regional Cancer Center Foundation and has been a great addition to the team and to our efforts planned ahead. Jerry. Good afternoon, good morning. It's my pleasure to be with you today and to talk about the Cancer Center. For the past 25 years, the RCC has shown great compassion by caring for cancer patients regardless of their ability to pay for treatment. In 2011 alone, over $1.5 million was awarded to financially needy patients who otherwise would not have been able to seek treatment. By comparison, this is a major increase from just four years ago when $500,000 was awarded. Going forward, we realize we need additional funding to continue this work. And to continue to offer the expert care and state-of-the-art technology that Dr. Shibeta spoke about, and to offer support for the patients who have great financial need, the RCC has renewed its commitment to fundraising efforts. With our 25th anniversary, we realized we wanted the Erie community to join in our celebration both of the RCC and to honor our founding physicians. So we're planning a party and we're planning a community project. Both have already received tremendous support. Here to tell us more about how the Erie community can join in both the project and to celebrate the 25th anniversary is our event person, Cheryl Vickery. Thanks, Jerry. Well, I'm very excited to be here today to unveil an event that we've been working on for the past six months. Over the years, I've planned events for many organizations, but I knew I wanted something very special to celebrate the 25th anniversary of this community asset. Something different and memorable to be both a recognition of hope and a celebration of promise. So now it's my pleasure to announce that the Regional Cancer Center will present an inaugural gala on September 15, 2012, appropriately named Show of Hope. Show of Hope, which was named for the work of the RCC and the entertainment at the event. The Show of Hope will be held here at the Convention Center. This black tie optional event is being planned to include all the fun, excitement, and style of a Las Vegas show and to honor RCC founders Dr. Peter Shibeta, Dr. William Brereton, and Dr. Jay Jenkins. All proceeds from this event fund cancer care for those financially needy patients who could not otherwise seek treatment. I'm also very proud to announce that we have three major sponsors for the Show of Hope. Doll Kemper's Jewelry, UPMC Hammett, and UPMC Cancer Centers have all agreed to be major sponsors at $25,000 each, and I thank them for their overwhelming support of the RCC and our local cancer patients. I affectionately call the committee planning this event the dream team, and they truly are. They even came up with another idea to ensure that the entire community can participate in the 25th anniversary celebration of the RCC. And that idea is Silver Stars. Silver for 25 years and stars to celebrate the stars in each of our lives. To remember a loved one, honor a cancer survivor or caregiver, or to show support and gratitude, the Erie community can now name a star for the stars in their life. 
the RCC will be selling silver stars for only $5 and $10. Supporters can write a name on the star and the star will be hung at the RCC Center for all to see and to encourage cancer patients currently under treatment. Proceeds from this project will also benefit the RCC's financially needy patients. I want to thank Star 104, who generously agreed to promote Silver Stars on their stations and to offer $3,000 in advertising to a business who would like to sponsor the Stars. Let's decorate the RCC and fill the halls with Silver Stars in this 25th year. Stars can be obtained at the RCC or at other locations as outlined on our website, www.trcc.org. I'm very excited about these projects, and I hope you'll join us in the special celebration and support the RCC, which has so wonderfully supported the Erie community in the past 25 years. Thank you. John. I wish to, again to thank everyone for attending today and look forward to having the Erie community join in the 25th anniversary celebration of the Regional Cancer Center. Please visit our website at trcc.org for updates relative to all events being planned for 2012. Thank you.